watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. Yay! Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success from the Total Success Coach, Princess Bola Adelani. What sets Princess Bola apart from the thousands of life and success coaches in this country and the world is her absolute commitment to you. Princess Bola gives her whole heart and soul to the mission of helping you to realize your deepest dreams. Princess Bola is constantly breaking new frontiers and discovering new dimensions to helping you achieve success. This is Princess Bola Adelani, the total success coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Guys, you asked for it. Here it is. Inspired success for men and for fathers. Yes. My male viewers have been asking me, when are you going to do a show for us? What's all this thing about the Total Woman Conference and the Total Woman this and the women that? And so I listened and I responded and I'm dedicating this broadcast to men and fathers. Plus, it's June. It's Father's Day month and I want to use this opportunity to wish happy Father's Day to all my men and the fathers and fathers in the making that are out there. And um, I'm really, really, really excited about today's broadcast. Oh, my gosh. Look, I want to tell you this is truth now. you got to get your female friends. you got to get your male friends. Just get everybody right now on the phone and tell them you've got to tune in to Inspired Success because I have in the house some energetic, vibrant, you know, handsome, good-looking. They're all married, by the way, you know, I think except for one. Okay, so they're not available. But, you know, some really smart, um, more seriously, some smart, very energetic um, men who are on the show with me today. And we're going to be talking about the one thing men want women to know about men. The very one thing men want women to know about men. Seriously, I think there's a lot of misconceptions out there, a lot of miscommunications between the gender. And um, a lot of women have been hurt by men. A lot of men, you know, have been hurt by women. And, you know, they say, you know, men are from Mars and women are from Venus. And is, is it true? Are, are we that different? Um, do, we, do we think that differently? Is it like we're from really different planets? Or is there more really that really kind of unites us um, rather than divides us? And what do men want us to know? About, about us, you know, what are they thinking? What kind of things would they want us to know? And the goal, obviously, is to help us to, you know, in, improve the relationships between both genders. And so to help me get into this conversation, um, I'm really pleased to welcome Shay Burgess. Steve Adler is um, a town councillor in West Hartford. You bet, Princess Bola, thanks for having me. This is an absolute thrill to be here. You're Appreciate welcome. It. You're welcome. And Joe Friends is my, I call him my internet website online management guru. Thank you for coming on the show. And uh, Mark Sack. I, I, I say this all the time when I introduce Mark. Mark is a financial expert. Until I met Mark Sack, really, I don't know what I thought financial experts were all about, but he made quite an impression on, on me. And so it's great to have you, Mark, on the show. Well, yeah. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> In the bottom of my heart, I believe in everything that you do, so you know that. Yes, I do. Thank you for being here. So we're going to dive straight into this conversation, honestly. What is the very one thing that men 
want women to know about men. There's a lot of misconceptions, there have been a lot of abuse, women have been uh, victims at the hands of men, and, and vice versa, and vice versa. Whether it's been at work, whether it's socially, whether it's personally, you know, there, there are just all kinds of misconceptions. And I think we could do better to work together, we could iron out some of these misconceptions and uh, really improve our relationships both personally and professionally, and um, I think everyone will be better off for it. So I don't know who wants to kind of um, kick off the conversation. Maybe we'll start with Mark and talk about the very one thing, you know, you know that you would, you as a man, would want women to know about finances, about money, about their money, because that's the area of your expertise. Um, yeah, it is true. You know what? The there's a lot of misconceptions out there just in general around finances. Yes. You know, and one thing, if we're talking about success, yes. and we're talking about personal development in the home, we always know that in the home, sometimes there could be friction. Yes. And there could also be conviction that accompanies conviction. <laughs> and when when a, when a man is in the home, if he's the one, and I do want to set out straight, it is not always the man who controls the finances. That's right. Trust mm, me that's with right. that, as you guys probably know. Yes. So I don't want who, you know everybody who's watching the show to always think that it's the man who runs the show. They run all the finances. It's not necessarily true. However, being that that's what we're talking about today, for those that do, and they probably know that sometimes there's a little bit of tension in the household when it comes to finances. Mm. And what I find when I come, you know, when you ask me to do this, I start thinking of it from my client's perspective. Mm. As a financial planner, the experience that I bring for the many years I've been doing this usually comes from what my clients are feeling. And I normally have a bunch of sets of different types of clients. But when it, they're in the spouse in the home, if the man is handling things, and the tension starts to do, what we try to uh, accomplish, mm -hmm. in addition to just handling their financial plan, handling their investments, handling the estate work, all those different things, we try to make sure that the happy home is, is accompanied with the plan. And by doing one, that's when, it's always, that's when people find out that they're no longer arguing in the home. Okay. And you said men are from Mars, women are from Venus. If you, if you read the stuff on the finance part that John Gray does, you can kind of see how that stuff takes place for those who may have, watched, who have seen him. So one thing that I do in the typical types of clients that I have, there's really kind of three. One of them is a man simply controls it. Uh, you know, if the spouse doesn't want to, then what they do is they just make sure that I, they know that I exist. Okay. And so they always tell their spouse, if anything ever happens, okay. if I get in an accident, if, something, if, I, if I should pass on, uh, whenever that is, here's Mark's card. Okay. This is who you call. So do you think the one thing then is communication or um, uh, uh, what is that one thing you then think the men really want the, the women to know I think about their finances? They want to communicate, they want to put them in the picture or, you know. Um, most actually want them to be engaged. Okay. A lot of times one of the spouses just doesn't want to be engaged. Mm. So actually whether it's man or woman, in this case we're talking about men, they yeah. actually prefer if the woman was engaged and knew the path. I always tell people it's kind of like when I do a financial plan for somebody, they're usually typically engaged, and then one of them typically just kind of wants the top of the waves, <laughs> yes. while the other one wants to put on the scuba gear, get in, dive underneath, and see the entire ocean and explore yes, everything. Yes. And so what they want is if they can't have that, they want the, they want the other person engaged in the process. Okay. So ladies, you've heard it. Men want you to be engaged in the financial decisions and the financial situation of the home, you know, in the relationship. I mean, you like, like Mark was saying, it doesn't mean that you have to be the one in charge. But when the men are in charge, they want you to be engaged. And I can, I can relate to that because, you know, I recently got a call from our financial planner because um, my husband has been trying to get me to set an appointment to sit down sure. with, with her. And, you know, I've been so busy and it's been like, you know, I, I don't want to be bothered about that right now. So he got her to call me directly to try and get me to get a time, you know. So I, I can understand that, you know, that frustration from a spouse, from the men towards the woman when the men are the ones in charge of the finances of the home and trying to get that engagement and that involvement from well, them. You always know that when the, there's a happy woman in the home, <laughs> then everything else everything seems Everything else is else happy, is. absolutely. So, <laughs> if, you, if you could remove that tension exactly. so that they're no longer fighting over the decisions, see if they have a financial plan yes. and they can follow that path, yes. then they know it's an emo there's no emotion. 
Exactly. And, and they're, they're, they're stronger. They're united. And, um, you know, the sky's the limit That's when that key. when that happens. So get engaged in, in the financial process. The men want you not to have that nonchalance like I, like I used to have. So you, you've got to convert. So, Joe, we're talking about, you know, socially and relationally. You know, I mean, you know, a lot of women are in relationship with men and vice versa. And what is the one thing that we think we should know as far as relationships are concerned? The one big thing <laughs> yes. that I think men would like women to know about them is that we really want to work things out. Mm -hmm. There are times when we, when we get into emotional um, conversations and then it turns into a you know, let's and, and it's an, an argument. argument yeah. And it's sometimes women feel like we are not trying to fix it. We're just being a part of the problem. Yeah. And I feel like men um, need to let women know that, no, we, we want resolution. Okay. Uh, we like things that are fixed. And when there's an opportunity for us to fix something, we're going we're gonna to do it. Oh, there's a screw loose. Let, let me go get a screwdriver. Yeah. Uh, nails up. Let me hammer it. And so that's what we, we want. Res we do want resolution, but there are times because we might not. We might not use the the language that exactly. That the other I'm just coming right there to the communication, and I think this is where some of the miscommunications exist. Right. And you know, sometimes it's the way you communicate that interest that you've expressed that you are, you are interested, you do want it, but the way you communicate it sometimes doesn't quite um, tell it us that. Yeah, it doesn't seem to match up to yeah to, to match right. up to that interest. You know, so I'm trying to communicate. We're trying to resolve. And um, you're watching the, the, the football game, or you have a newspaper in front of you, or you, you, know, you tell me not quite now, you know, your body language is telling me something different, or you're not doing it at a time when I want it to be done, you know? And so, or you're using, you know, something more personal, our intimate relationship to communicate. Right. And I don't want it at that time. You know, I don't want that to be the means of communication. So, you know, but it's good to know from a man that, you know, men do want us to realize that they do want to communicate. They do want to resolve. They do want to iron out whatever this miscommunications or misconceptions are. And all these guys represent all, all kinds of guys out there, you know, whether they're professional working guys or from different kinds of culture, as you can see. So really, ladies, you, you, you need to know that, that, um, you know, we, we, they do want to, to, to communicate and they do want to resolve and they do want to improve our relationships. Wow. So that's at the heart of every, every man, I guess. Yeah. And that's good to know. And it's just good for you to, to know, guys, that, you know, the way sometimes you communicate that interest need, needs to be worked on, yeah, you know. Yeah, my wife, know. actually, my wife reminds me about that on a fairly regular basis, <laughs> yes. so yes. Yes, that's we're, important. We're at a, di a disadvantage when it comes to communication. Okay. It is said that women have 25,000 words a day <laughs> to speak, and yeah. men only have 12,005. We, we are, we're going to say half the amount of words that a woman says. Yes. And we, we choose our words differently from women. You know, for men, what, they, what a, really, a woman really wants from us is for us to listen. Yes. But men want so that same so. thing, too. Yeah. We want you to, we don't want women to talk at us. Okay. We want women to talk to us. Okay. And we want them to be able to stop talking for a minute <laughs> uh -huh. and hear what we got to say. <laughs> okay, great. You know, great. communication is a two-way street. Okay, so. yes, it is. Yeah. And that's, that's good to know. That's good to know, too, because um, we men are guilty of interjecting, you know, mm -hmm. and, 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 and going on and on, like my husband <laughs> says sometimes. Okay, you know, we're not in a courtroom now, you know, but uh, can you give me a chance to, 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 to reciprocate and to get back, you know? And, and, and that, that, that's good to know. But you see, what I want us to get to the bottom of is what you have got to the bottom of, which is the interest. Right. You see, it's about the heart. Right. It's about knowing that you have that intention and that heart and that desire is there. And then that means a lot to us. Right. Okay, and so like I said, those are the areas that men kind of need to also work on, guys, okay? So we know you have the interest now. You do want to dialogue, okay? But, you know, sometimes, like I said, your body language or the other things you're saying and doing doesn't match up with that desire. But it's good to know that you do want to dialogue. And, and that's why we're having this conversation today. And, um, you know, like I said, um, 
You want to get a friend on the phone, you know, and tell them, hey, you know, this is a heated, vibrant, um, spirited, fun, energetic conversation going on today on Inspired Success. And then Steve, yeah, yes, sure. professionally, I know you're a politician. Well, that may we, not be a good thing, but that's all right. We'll start <laughs> It's a good else. thing. We need leaders in I politics, good men like you. And you're also been a you know, professional man and um, sure. been working for over 20 years, I guess, your career. Yes, so, I don't look it, though. <laughs> yes, it doesn't like, you know. <laughs> Of course, we agree with that. Um, so, you know, what about our work? You know, yeah. before the show started, we said it's got to the point where now we even have to have laws, you know, sexual harassment and all of that. I said, I think it got that bad that, you know, we don't even know how to relate at work anymore, men and women, that they have to um, put laws in place to protect women. So, yeah, what absolutely. Uh, first of all, Princess Bolo, this is such a great conversation. And, and really, we probably should have these types of conversations more often. And, yeah. and I'm in agreement with the, with the rest of the team here. I think, you know, being uh, working in the insurance industry and as well as working on the council with, obviously, males and females, and, and it's very important. I, I think the key thing about what men want women to know about men yeah. is the ability that we want to collaborate with them. Mm. And, and in order to collaborate with them, we want to be able to, first of all, have respect for them. Yes. And, and that's really important because think about it. We have a sexual harassment law that requires annual training on how to treat one another. Yes. And I think a lot of that was due to really poor behavior that we've, as men, you know, at times uh, poor behavior of being jerks yes. about saying and doing the wrong things, yes. uh, whether it's comments, whether it's touching people, et cetera. So we have to kind of learn to, to regain respect of, of women in order to be able to collaborate with them. So, so that's one thing is, is really the respect. The yes. other thing really is around um, awareness. And what do I mean by awareness is, you know, I think most women in, in general kind of have the, the tougher load in the family. Mm. They're, they're all about, they're, they're working, they're all about, you know, also the children, taking care of the children in the household. So I think, you know, as we collaborate and work with women in, in the workplace, we really should also take into consideration that, you know what, there's another additional burden that yeah. women have. And we need to, as men, we really need to identify and accept that as well as, you know, uh, realize that, you know, maybe your coworker who's a female isn't having a great day. And it may not be you and it may not be the project you're on. But it could be because she has two kids at home. Good. So, just a real example. I have a, a good friend of mine who works for uh, one of the insurance companies, and uh, she's uh, in the process of getting divorced. And I think she is divorced now. She has two kids, and she's looking for an apartment, and she's trying to get her arms around health care because her husband was the uh, uh, provider at the time. So there's some issues there. So, long story short, is I think men clearly have it easier than women. Yes. And, uh, um, that's for you, honey. So, uh, 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 you know, we, we, I'm doing the best I can. So, you know, men typically have it better than women because women inherently carry the load because of, of the children and the other domestic responsibilities in addition to education and so forth. So, uh, and so you're basically saying that you want women to realize, to know the one thing is that, hey, we respect you. And we are appreciative and we are aware of the demands that are placed on you. Absolutely. And the kind of volume of the load that you are, you're carrying okay. in terms of both um, personally and, and professionally. Yeah, just, yeah just, exactly. And, just, just one other thing, you know, and, and also awareness yes. of, of their situation. Okay. My, you know, my mom raised me and my brother as mm -hmm. a single parent. Yeah. And uh, she was a school teacher. And I remember her coming home at times just kind of throwing her her yeah. books on the table and just sitting there trying to figure out how she's going to make things work. Yes. And, and we need to be, as men, we need to be somewhat uh, hyper-sensitive uh, yeah. that. around yes. that kind of and, situation. And that's so. really great to know that so. women, uh, men value women. And when men are appreciative of, of the kind of responsibilities and the work we're doing, both personally and professionally, and, um, and men are, are aware that, um, you know, we are doing a lot more, pro probably, yeah. you know, many, oftentimes we're doing a lot more in terms of, you know, uh, we have the work, we have the home, and, and, and so on and so forth. And, and that's good to know, because I think sometimes women um, think that men aren't aware. 
But well, I aren't appreciating. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And because I think that you women, know, women want true. to feel like men get it. Yeah. And sometimes we don't. Yes. Right? <laughs> you know? You know? Right. And, and, and then I, I think that, um, you know, uh, that, that, like I said, that's good. And that's the whole point, uh, the whole objective of this show. We act. want to live here, hopefully improving on those relationships. And being, you know, getting the validation and some affirmation from men, from guys saying, you know, guys, you're doing a good job. We do care and all of that. And, and, and we're also open to being educated, okay? We're open with, to being educated in terms of right. how you want us to improve. And maybe yeah. the one thing you, we shouldn't be doing that we do to help also to help to improve our relationships. Right. And, and you know, just real quick, I mean, yeah. you're absolutely right, Princess. I think, I think one of the things that, that, you know, that I'd mentioned around collaboration, but I think men have a lot of work to do, too. Yeah, I, I think, definitely. I think that we need to really understand, you know, the women today and how complicated their world is really more than ours. And, and more importantly, we need to understand the rules of the road. That when you're at work, it's about it's about meeting objectives yes. and managing large scale projects and and they're setting and lines with. not to cross. That's correct. And and, and, and it's so, all teaming up, absolutely. teaming up to achieve that objective. And you know, we men shouldn't see women as objects and 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 you know and all of that. And 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 that's really important. And for me, and that is a message I really want to get out there because I don't think that um, we're so different. And I, I think there's more that unites us. And if I even go back to scripture, like many of you know, I'm a woman of faith, and I often get my inspiration from scripture. If I go back to scripture and look at Genesis, mm -hmm. and I look at the creation, yeah. the whole idea of God creating women, you know, and that's in the Torah as well, Genesis with Moses, the books of Moses, you know, you find that the reason why the women, woman was created was to kind of be a helper, to be a, like a team, to come and join and support the men to, you know, to, to reach their goals. So it, it's really a team. We're actually a team. And we're not enemies. We're friends. We're yeah. allies. Yeah. And I think we should start seeing ourselves like that and seeing the value that each person brings to the table. I mean, there's some things that I think women also need to understand about men, yeah. you know, and, and um, some of the pressures that are facing them also in terms of, you know, the expectations sometimes that I think are unrealistic. I, I realized um, that 10 years into my marriage alone, you know, I've been married 16 years, you know, I, I, duh, you know, I kind of woke up and I said, hey, you know, you're putting a lot of pressure on this guy. You're expecting him to be like God you know, to you, you know, to fulfill me. And he's, that's not his role. He's not God. He can't, he can't be everything to me. He can only be so much. He's a man. He's human. Okay, so I think sometimes two women have unrealistic expectations and we don't appreciate some of the pressures that are facing the men in terms of trying to achieve and to be the providers and the breadwinners and all of that. And so I think, you know, maybe that's another conversation for another day. We should, we should, do, <laughs> we should do part two. And so, yes. and so, Jay, I'm like holding myself back. I'm like, oh, I know, I know. I, I think we should, and uh, maybe that will come down the road. But, um, Che, I want you to talk in terms of um, socially now. You know, everybody see Che is an happening guy. He's hip, you know, and um, he's a modern, trendy guy. We're, we're going to be hanging out together after the show. So. I think he's the youngest on the on the on the on the panel. But you know, and he's newly married. You know, yeah. so you know you. Oh, you were just single a few months ago. What is that one thing you want women to know when it comes to socially? You know, when we're hanging out, maybe at a party. You know, um, you know, uh, socially and uh, and 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 um, you know, personally. What is that one thing that you think we we, we really need to know uh, about men? Not all of us. Men are different, just like women are different. We're not all the same. I noticed that women have a stereotypical view of what a man is. Mm, that's good. Now, I, I want to, I'm sorry, I don't want to interject you. Just hold that thought. Mm -hmm. That is so important for us to get across, okay? Just because you've been burnt by one man, right. okay? Just because you've had one bad experience at work or in your relationship or you've been divorced or one man did you wrong, doesn't mean that you need to put all men in a box and then, you know, have this, um, you know, bias and prejudice and, and say all men are bad. And, you know, because that's going to continue to limit you, okay? Because just like they're good women, they're good men. Just like they're good men, they're good women. And, and so really go on and touch on that. that that's a huge one to get we're across. Not, we're not all about just wanting, 
not all men view a woman as an object or a body part. Yes, sir. There are men out there that generally care and love women. Yes. And and so we have we we have to fight as men. We have to fight that fight of breaking through the barriers of the pain that the man before us caused. Yes. And that yes. is that's a very difficult thing to do. Yes. But if you have a, a friend in your life that is willing to sit down with you and take all the stuff that you're pushing on him because of your past relationship, then you know you found somebody good. Yes. You know, that man deserves a chance. Mm -hmm. And it's going to benefit you because in the process of becoming, of coming out of friendship into relationship, you get to heal because this man is doing everything that he needs to do to help you heal. You know, I'm a Christian, so I believe that no relationship without God in the center will work. Or if it works, it's going to be very hard. Mm. Um, and there are roles that, that the Lord, who I believe created men and women, have given to us as men and as female. And you spoke about the, the language. We speak two different languages. And I'm going to call one language a, a blue language and the other language a pink language. Okay. <laughs> Females speak in a, in a pink language. We speak in a blue language. What a female wants from a man is love mm -hmm. in the form of emotional love, intimacy. What a, man wants, want, what a man wants from a woman is love, but it's in the form of respect. Mm. We want to be respected by the woman, and the woman wants us to love them. And... Because the woman speaks in the pink language, it's hard for us who live in the blue language to understand, <laughs> to understand what they want. What yes. And then because we live in the blue language, it's hard for the female to understand what we want. Mm. And, and, and God's clear when it comes to relationship. Um, and this is controversial. He wants man to be head. He says, for us to love our wives as Christ loved the church. Ooh, you're going so somewhere we, now. <laughs> to the point where we die for her. But... And that's taught on pulpits. Any minister has preached that sermon before. What's not being preached is women respect your husband. So we have it, a lot of times when men and female are arguing, mm -hmm. and even in social, it's a fight of I want you to love me. Well, I want you to respect me. And if okay. I don't get the respect that I deserve, then I'm not going to love you. And if I don't get the love that I deserve, then I'm not going to respect you. So the one thing that you want women to know is about men is that men crave for respect. Yeah. They do crave for respect. There's this innate ego thing about men that I'm still yet to understand and fully overcome, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they crave for it, you know? Yeah. And, I, and, and I understand that from my relationship. But what that respect now means in, in practical terms, it's different for every man, yes, okay? It's, it's kind of different for every definitely. man, but generally, you heard it, the man wants you to make him feel like King Kong, okay? Okay? Yeah. <laughs> like a, a small <laughs> god with a G, okay? And so, it's, and it's all about the wisdom, and the, and the wisdom, yes, I, I would say the wisdom in which we, we communicate to them and we, we relate to them, that is, um, it's um, indicative to them of that respect. And, um, you know... Uh, we, uh, unfortunately, okay. we don't have time for a quick story. Oh, we need part two. <laughs> Can we come back? Can we, can we, can we, we, can we come back for a part two? I think if you can I sum up with the words. I, I want exactly. Okay. And that's where I want to really kind of end today's show. Of course, I mean, we need to continue this conversation. And I will definitely be continuing um, this conversation. I don't want to say when, but it'll be soon. It'll be very soon. And we, you, we, you've heard it, guys. They want you to be engaged, Mark. Sag, the financial expert, um, his company is right there on the screen, wants women to know that men want them to be engaged in the financial process and financial decisions of the home. You want men, men want, um, Joe said men wants women to realize that they desire, they are interested in conflict resolution. They yeah. want a dialogue. That's it. They want to really talk, okay? You know, want women to know that we, you, you, we appreciate, you're appreciative of the challenges that we are facing, That's okay? Right. And you want us to know that you want respect from us. I mean, you know, that, that's it. And I'm sure you, you've been very enlightening, and this has been a very informational show. Don't forget that it's available on demand. So if you want to play it over and over and over again,
again and probably take notes, you know, and then hide your notes on your and hide your notes on your on your next dates with your men or whatever, or at work or whatever. You know, it will really help you to improve your your relationships. And again, once again, it's Happy Father's Day to all the men there. You got it. We will continue the conversation. This yeah. is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, reminding you to keep learning, okay? Keep smiling. Put a smile on your face. It's not that bad, right? Things aren't that bad. Keep believing. Keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I'll see you next time. Take care. God bless.